A baseball with a mass of 0.2 kg is moving towards a player with a speed of 50 m per second. The player then hits the ball with its bat. The bat exerts an average force of uh, 8,000 8, Newton on the ball for 1.6 millisecond. The average force is directed in the opposite direction to the initial velocity of the ball. Calculate the final speed of the ball. Assume that u, the initial velocity, is to the left. Okay. And the force is to the right. Wow. Okay. So, okay. Uh, if like that, we need to uh, be careful with the direction. Uh, he said initial velocity is to the left. Okay. Uh, we, we put the direction to the left as negative. Direction to the right as positive. So, in this early stage, we already know that initial velocity should be, should be a negative value but the force is to the right so the force of um, force is to the right is positive value the force should be a positive value what is this force this force should be the uh, force of the bat uh, the bat hit the ball okay uh, this is force is of bat on ball yeah Force of bat on ball, not the force of ball on bat. Uh, not the other way around, remember? Maybe I should draw it out, yeah? Uh, the ball, the... Uh, maybe I should draw it out. Okay, where is the bat? Okay, there's the bat. Uh, this is my bat. Uh, okay, what an ugly bat. Okay, this is my bat. And this is the ball, the incoming ball. Okay, this is my bat. This is my ball. My ball. <laughs> okay. This is the ball. Yeah. The baseball. Okay. Uh, the bat hit. The, the, the ball is moving to the left. Yeah. Um, the baseball. This is the baseball. Uh, the mass of the baseball is uh, 0 0.2 kilogram. It is moving to the left. Uh, U is a negative. Uh, remember? U is a negative. You should put a negative sign there. Uh, to show direction to the left. Remember, velocity is a vector. Vector, you must have a positive negative sign to show direction. Uh, if you don't put a negative sign, then you're wrong. Okay, so the initial speed, you say the baseball is moving with the initial speed. Uh, so this should be the... Okay, this is the mass and this should be the initial velocity. Uh, this, uh, this is the average force. Uh, this should be the impulsive force. Yeah, This is the impulsive force. I should write there first. The impulsive force or the average force, the impulsive force. Uh, this one should be the uh, time taken, delta T. Uh, the force is opposite direction. The, the force is uh, opposite to uh, the initial velocity u, uh, find the v. Uh, we need to find the final velocity v. Okay. Okay. Now uh, back to this baseball. The baseball is moving to the to the left. It's moving to the left. So the initial speed fifty should be to the left. Negative. You should put a negative sign. Yeah. Negative fifty. So you're moving negative fifty. Now, uh, this is the bat, of course, is going to hit the ball to the right. So, we can say uh, the force of the, the impulsive force is to the right. Uh, the impulsive force, uh, this is the average force, uh, is to the right. Uh, is to the right. So, we should put this as a positive value. Uh, force is to the right, it's positive value. Uh, this, in fact, this is a force of bat. Uh, how should I write it? This should be a um, force of bat on ball. Uh, okay, force of bat on ball. Ball is to the right, so it's uh, positive, positive uh, eight thousand. Uh, positive eight exponent three means eight thousand lah. Eight thousand newton. Uh, depend on what kind of force is force of bat on ball. Or force of ball on bat. Uh, if force of ball on bat is the opposite direction. Uh, remember that. 
remember that uh, if force of bat on ball is the opposite direction, force of uh, sorry, ball on bat, you know, at the time that the bat the bat hit the ball, the bat hit a ball, the bat hit the ball, uh, the force is to the right. That time also the ball hit the bat. The ball hit the bat to the left. Ah, so depend on which one. Okay, depend on which one. So uh, also 8000 is because action reaction force have equal force. Equal but opposite direction force. So, but right now we are using this one, lah. We are using this one, yeah. We are using this one. We don't, we don't use this one, yeah, because we want to. Why we use force of bat on ball? Uh, because we want to know what change, what changes happening to the baseball. We we don't uh, concern about what happening to the bat. Uh, force of ball on bat uh, is happening on the bat. Uh, so we we don't concern about this. Uh, this one, uh, experience, uh, force of ball on bat. This one, experience by bat. Uh, this one is none of our concern. What happened on the bat is none of our concern. What happened on the baseball? What happened on the baseball is our concern. Yeah. In fact, this, um, yeah. What happened on the baseball is our concern. So this force of bat on ball, uh, this one experienced by the ball. I should write this one. Uh, this force experienced by the baseball. Uh, okay. Uh, this one uh, cause changes to the cause cause changes to the baseball. Yeah, so we concern about this force. We don't concern about this force because this force, this force experienced by the bat. Uh, so and the, the bat is none of our business. Uh, we only concern what happening to the baseball. Uh, the ball come come and then after hit, it change direction to the opposite direction. It, the ball, baseball move to the right. Yeah, move to the right in the opposite direction. Yeah, and we no, want to know what's happening on the baseball. We don't want to know what's happening on the bat. Okay, so uh, we con we use this force instead of this force because this force, uh, force of bat on ball, uh, experienced by the baseball. Okay, so use this one. So force is to the right. Okay. Um, uh, what the what is the fi final speed? So we know that after hitting the ball to the right, up, uh, finally the baseball will of course uh, move in the opposite direction. Uh, and we need to find about this final velocity. Understand? Uh, so use the force of bat on ball. Okay, so how to do these questions? Yeah, how to do these questions? Very simple. We already have the average force. Uh, what? Uh, we need to find an impulse. Uh, we need to find an impulse. Uh, first of all, use the formula. Force of uh, impulse is the force. Uh, the average force times the time taken, uh, FT, yeah, J equal to FT. So, um, okay, uh, this force is uh, uh, you just use the positive 800, okay, 800, uh, sorry, 8000. Um, time taken is uh, 1.6 millisecond, uh, milli is. Uh, exponent negative 3. Remember, change to SI unit. Exponent negative 3. Okay, what's the answer? What's the answer for this one? Okay, so it is a uh, 12.8 uh, Newton second. Uh, and it is a positive value. Uh. So this uh, impulse also, also to the right. Uh, this impulse is positive value. So we know that the impulse are uh, also to the right because we got a positive value. Yeah, remember, uh, impulse is also a vector. Yeah, impulse. This is called the impulse is also a vector. So the sign is uh, very important. 
the positive negative sign in front is very important because impulse is a vector the positive negative sign in front of the vector shows direction it shows direction uh, the direction positive negative sign very important you must uh, you must always write okay so uh, we know that positive uh, the impulse is to the right because it's positive value now we want to find the final velocity and we know that impulse is the change of momentum impulse is the change of momentum from here we can get the final velocity uh, this is the final momentum minus initial momentum uh, mv minus mu factorize we have uh, mv minus u okay put in the our impulse there our impulse is a uh, positive uh, 12.8 uh, 12.8 uh, in fact uh, positive if you don't put also never mind because uh, without the positive uh, sign we know that it uh, by default it is positive sign okay unless if negative negative you must put uh, negative sign you must put positive sign you can ignore yeah because if no positive sign we know by default it is positive value uh, but if it is a negative sign you must put the negative sign remember okay so uh so the mass 0 0.2 okay we'll put in the mass there 0 0.2 now we want to find the final speed speed uh, initial speed oh initial velocity is to the left u is to the left so you have a negative sign ah uh, if uh, negative 50 if you just put 50 okay minus 50 is wrong okay uh, the u has a negative value so this uh, so how to write uh, u is negative 50 uh, u is negative 50 uh, be careful uh, be careful uh, minus a negative value okay u is negative because to the left this negative uh, means uh, uh, the initial velocity is to the left. The direction is very important. Initial velocity is to the left. Uh, okay, the negative sign. Understand the negative sign? Okay. Now, uh, okay, let's calculate. Let's calculate the answer. Right. First of all, this one, um, right again. 0 0.2 this one become v plus 50 okay so uh, finally we get the answer um, yeah so the answer is um, a positive ah, final velocity is positive uh, 14 14 meter per second uh, what is it mean by positive value so now the ball move to which direction? Uh, move to the right. The final velocity now after hit by the bat, it move to the right. Okay, because we get a positive velocity. Uh, we get a positive velocity now. So uh, velocity is positive value. Okay, move to the right. Uh, you should uh, say the the direction uh, you should include the direction you must write the direction also uh, if not you lose mark uh, but, but this one is speed speed means just the magnitude lah mid magnitude you just give the magnitude enough but let's say if we ask about the question ask about uh final velocity then the answer you need to include direction if final speed uh speed is just the magnitude uh, you just give the magnitude enough yeah like this one 14 enough uh, but if you ask about final velocity uh, this one you need to give two two answer the magnitude and also direction uh, you need to give magnitude and also direction in words uh, direction in words then only the answer is complete for velocity Okay, so that's the answer. For speed, you just give magnitude. Speed, you just give magnitude. No need to write the direction. But if you put direction there, also we won't minus mark. Okay? 
Alright, so that's it for these questions. Just be careful with the sign, the positive and negative signs. Just remember that um, no matter it's velocity, uh, impulse or force, all of them they are they are vector. So when talking about vector, the positive and negative sign very important. The positive and negative sign very important. Uh, momentum also is also a there is momentum is also a vector. Momentum, velocity, impulse, force, all of them are vectors. The positive negative sign very important. So that's it.